Imagine a colossal ship almost as tall as the Empire State Building, losing control in the dead of night. Now picture a vital bridge, a lifeline for a bustling city, collapsing with a deafening roar. This isn't a scene from a disaster movie. This was what unfolded in Baltimore, a city in the US on March 26, 2024. A Singapore-flagged container ship, the Dali, slammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge, sending it crashing into the icy waters below. The impact was devastating, leaving a trail of destruction, human loss, and a city in shock. But what went wrong? How could a seemingly routine departure turn into a catastrophe? Was it a mechanical failure, human error, or something far worse? Join us as we piece together the events that led to this tragedy. From the desperate Mayday call that echoed through the night, to the frantic search for survivors in the unforgiving river. This is a story of heroism, heartbreak, and the ripple effects of disaster that stretch far beyond a single city. So buckle up because we're diving deep into the Baltimore Bridge Collapse. Just past midnight on a seemingly ordinary Tuesday, a massive cargo ship, the Dali, set sail with its crew of 22, unaware of the impending catastrophe. Launched in late 2014 by South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries, the Dali was owned by the Singaporean firm Grace Ocean Private Limited and was sailing under the Singapore flag. The ship was on a chartered voyage for Danish giant Maersk, destined for the distant shores of Sri Lanka. Towering nearly 300 meters, it is almost as tall as the Eiffel Tower on its end. It could hold nearly 10,000 standard shipping containers, though on this fateful voyage it carried a more modest 4,700 containers. While it offered a large cargo capacity, its sheer mass made it a ponderous beast, difficult to maneuver and stop with the agility of a smaller vessel. As the Dali set off on his course for Sri Lanka, the iconic Francis Scott Key Bridge loomed, undergoing routine maintenance with one lane open in each direction. But what lurked beneath the calm surface of that night? At 12.39 a.m., the Dali departed its berth, its voyage data recorder silently recording the ship's journey down the Patapsco River towards the unsuspecting bridge. Minutes ticked by, marked only by the hum of the engines. Then, at 1.24 a.m., the ship's lights flickered, plunging it into darkness for a terrifying moment. What caused this sudden blackout? Was it a technical glitch or something more sinister? The answer remained shrouded in mystery. But then alarms on the ship started blaring, and the data recorder sputtered and died momentarily. When the image returned, the ship seemed to have lost its lights yet again, and had drifted ominously rightward toward the central column of the bridge. Cars continued to traverse the bridge, oblivious to the brewing danger. Minutes turned into a desperate fight for survival. A critical detail is revealed here. A mayday call from the Dali went out around this time. This potentially life-saving message reached transportation officials just in the nick of time. As precious seconds bled away, a critical decision was made that would tip the scales of fate. The Maryland Transportation Authority scrambled its units, instructing them to stop all traffic on the bridge. The chilling words, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering, echoed through the dispatch. Alarms rang, jolting emergency workers into action. With practiced efficiency, they initiated a traffic lockdown, a desperate gamble to prevent a horrific tragedy. Calm announcements crackled through the dispatch network, overriding the usual radio chatter, halting traffic approaching both ends of the bridge. Meanwhile, panic erupted on the ship. The pilot issued a desperate call for assistance, summoning any available tugboats to quell the rogue vessel. At 1.27 a.m., the situation became dire. The Dali, powerless and adrift, was hurtling towards the bridge. The pilot, in a last-ditch effort, ordered the anchor dropped, hoping to slow the inevitable impact. A minute later, a plume of dark smoke billowed from the Dali, now a runaway behemoth. The ship surged forward at seven knots, a speed that spelled disaster. And then the inevitable happened two minutes later. The data recorder captured the harrowing sounds of the collision. The bridge groaned under the steel onslaught, followed by an agonizing silence. Then a frantic message tore through the airwaves. The whole bridge just fell down. A law enforcement officer screamed into his radio. The weight of the situation crushed down. The monumental infrastructure had collapsed. But had authorities acted swiftly enough to prevent a massacre? Thankfully, the heroic last-minute decision to stop traffic had averted a true catastrophe. 
but fate had dealt a cruel hand to another group. Eight men, immigrants from El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico, were caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Filling potholes on the bridge's center span, they were caught unawares by the oncoming disaster. The men were on a break in their parked vehicles and may not have been warned of the impact before the inevitable collision occurred. Their world became a churning maelstrom of steel and water as they were sent plummeting into the frigid depths of the Patapsco River. Yet a flicker of hope emerged. Two men defied the odds and were pulled from the water. One walked away unharmed, the other clinging to life with serious injuries. But the fate of the remaining six hung in the balance. Dive teams, risking their own lives amidst the unstable wreckage, raced against the clock, the cold waters and the relentless tide conspiring against them. Sonar, lights, cameras, and robotic equipment became their desperate tools in the murky depths. Could they find any more survivors amidst the tangled steel and churning water? By nightfall, the desperate search for the missing six morphed into a grim mission to recover their bodies instead. The U.S. Coast Guard, their voices heavy with a terrible certainty, issued a statement. The chances of finding survivors were gone. Some dreaded news arrived the next day. Two bodies were pulled from a submerged red pickup truck entombed beneath the collapsed bridge. Four men remained missing, presumed dead. But even recovery efforts were paused on Wednesday, as the focus shifted to the Herculean task of removing the bridge's ruins. However, amidst the chaos there was a glimmer of relief. Thankfully, all crew members aboard the Dali escaped unscathed. The team, comprising mostly Indian nationals, had narrowly avoided the catastrophe. Though one sailor sustained injuries requiring a brief hospitalization, he had since been discharged and rejoined his colleagues on the vessel, now a ghostly presence in the Patapsco River. The crew remained sequestered aboard, cooperating fully with the National Transportation Safety Board's ongoing investigation. A single burning question hung heavy in the air. What exactly happened on that fateful night? As authorities pieced together the puzzle, a sliver of information emerged from Synergy Marine, the ship management company for the Dali. In a statement from the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore, a chilling detail was revealed. Just prior to the incident, the Dali had experienced a momentary loss of propulsion. This critical malfunction left the behemoth adrift, unable to maintain its course, culminating in the devastating collision with the Francis Scott Key Bridge. However, a shadow of doubt began to creep in with reports of a prior incident. Media unearthed details of an accident the Dali had met with in the port of Antwerp, Belgium, back in 2016. The Antwerp port authorities revealed the Dali had struck a key while attempting to depart the terminal. Furthermore, a subsequent inspection uncovered a troubling finding. Structural issues, specifically hull damage, that could potentially impair the ship's seaworthiness. Reports indicated the Dali remained docked for repairs for a significant period after this incident. Was this a red flag that went unheeded? However, subsequent inspections painted a contrasting picture. Authorities confirmed the Dali passed a June 2023 inspection in Chile with a faulty pressure gauge issue identified and rectified before departure. Similarly, inspections by the U.S. Coast Guard in New York and Baltimore in September 2023 found no problems. However, the U.S. Coast Guard did reveal a crucial piece of information. The Dali had undergone routine engine maintenance at the port just before the incident. Could the seemingly innocuous maintenance have triggered the critical malfunction that caused the Dali to lose power, setting in motion the horrific chain of events that led to the bridge collapse? But the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore weighed in, confirming that all documents verifying the structural integrity and functionality of the vessel's equipment were up to date at the time of the incident. The Dali's next round of such inspections were not due until June 2024. Despite these seemingly reassuring findings, the cloud of suspicion remained. Singapore, as the Dali's flag state, held the responsibility of conducting a formal inquiry into the Baltimore accident. Their task? To delve into the cause of the disaster and alongside the ongoing investigation by U.S. authorities, hopefully shed light on the events that led to this horrific tragedy. Did the momentary loss of propulsion mask a deeper problem? Or did the 2016 incident in Antwerp play a role in the Baltimore catastrophe? These were just some of the questions demanding answers. While Singapore grapples with the aftermath of this maritime tragedy, 
Another threat looms closer to home. The small island nation is sinking. It is a race against time as Singapore embarked on a mega project to combat this existential threat. Watch this video to find out more.